being in the outdoors is just a profoundly relaxing experience for me. It's a place where I get to pay attention to the diversity of life around me. And doing that is a great form of inspiration for scientific questions. My name is Dr. Daniel Bolnick. I'm a professor of integrative biology at the University of Texas at Austin. I think I've been brought outdoors by my parents since I was a toddler. They like to tell the story of my first hike when I was two. I covered about two and a half miles and they fueled me entirely with Tootsie Rolls, placed at strategic intervals along the trail. And I've been hooked ever since, although I don't use the Tootsie Rolls anymore. From ninth grade on, I knew I wanted to be not just a biologist, but I wanted to be a biologist studying organisms in their natural environment. Being out in the natural world must influence your thinking and must provide you with, with new insights that you don't get just sitting at your desk or being in a lab. He was working at the intersection of ecology and evolution. One of the most striking things that you come across is the diversity of life. How did that get to be here? And why are they so different from each other? How do they coexist with each other? Those are the kinds of questions that I'm interested in. I want to know, how did life come to be so diverse? How does it stay so diverse? And why does that diversity matter? We study a small fish called the three-spined stickleback up in Canada. And we happen to notice some parasites, but only in some places. Some fish would have them, some fish wouldn't, even though it's all the same species of fish. You go two kilometers away, and there's not a single fish out of thousands that have this parasite. How do they do that? And so we've been studying the genetics and the immunology of how certain populations of fish manage to eliminate this parasite. But the parasites fight back, and they fight back by shutting off their host's immune system. If we know how they do that, we can figure out how to turn off our own immunity when we need to do so. It's this synthesis of these two areas of, of ecology and evolution that has enabled him to open up a whole new area. People suffer a great variety of immune disorders. Allergies, Crohn's disease, colitis. It's our own immune system attacking our own cells. And if we can figure out how to dial that back or dial that up, that can be very useful for us. Understanding how those, those dynamics play out would hopefully benefit people um, in the development of better vaccines and better anti-helmetic drugs, those kind of things. This environment that he's created for himself is really uh, rich and ripe for the possibilities of discovery. Ultimately, it's that curiosity that both gives you ideas and that makes you stick with it. He's really broken new ground in, across a very broad field that has a lot of impact. Dan has been a great mentor for me. He's given um, a lot of free reign to think and come up with interesting questions and to explore those pathways. I'm happy that my work has consequences. Ultimately, I get up in the morning because I'm curious and I want to know an answer. You don't know what answer you're gonna get, and you get this huge rush when you find something surprising that you weren't anticipating.